Hi, you're with Chandi, Pat Goodley once again, and in this video, I'm going to talk about that how can you do fiscal year calculations in Power BI. Now, whenever you're trying to do fiscal year calculations, you most probably would not need to change your calculations that you have performed as measures in Power BI. All that you need is a good date table or a calendar table, which is where you'll have some columns calculated, which are fiscal year, fiscal quarter columns, and you can start using them to present your data in a fiscal year or in a fiscal quarter on things like that. All right, so let's just take a look at the data that I'm working with here. So if I just go to the data tab, we have a very, very simple data. We have a date column, a region column, a product ID, units and the price. The multiplication of obviously of the units and the price is going to give me the total sales. And I have written a very simple measure for that. Multiply the units and the price and then sum it all up. As of now, I am taking a look at the total sales by region. But hey, maybe I want to take a look at total sales by fiscal year and by fiscal quarter and maybe by fiscal month as well. In India, the fiscal month starts with April. That means April is when we actually begin our fiscal year and end the fiscal year in the month of March. So in this entire example, I'm going to be using that. How do you customize your fiscal year calculations as per India? But certainly in case you have any other fiscal year that starts from any other month, you would be able to customize the calculations given the way that I teach you in this video. All right. So why don't you take a look? So first things first, we would need a date table that I don't have it as of now. We just have the sales table for now. So let's just kind of create a date table and we'll have a couple of columns that belong to fiscal year. Now, what I've done is I've already made a date table for you. I have written this blog, uh, which is fiscal year calculations in Excel and Power BI. And if you just kind of scroll down, you will have this code that I have written for generating a date table, which can be for fiscal year as well. So I'm just going to maybe copy this entire code. So select from here and then drag it down and press control C to copy. And then in the modeling tab, I'm going to come here and uh, make a new table and then paste my code right here. Now, once I commit to this particular code that I've written, press enter, you will see that a new table by the name of calendar is going to be created. I'd like to call my date table as calendar, but in case you would like to call it as a date table, you can very well call that. Just change the name here. So now watch that over here in this particular table, I have a couple of inputs for you. So in India, we start our fiscal month from April. And in case you started from anywhere else in the calendar, maybe you start with June, July, you can just write that month number. Note that you have to write a month number here, not exactly the month name. So April stands for four, hence I have written four here. And also, I have also customized week calculations. So in case uh, you'd like to customize your fiscal weeks, and in India, the week starts with, from Monday, in case you, you start your week from Sunday or any other day, you can actually write that particular day as well. So note that the day is going to come in an abbreviated format, which is where you will just write three letters, all right, M-O-N-T-U-E for Tuesday and things like that. All right, once you do the customization to your calendar table, this is a calendar table already created. And if you go take a look at the table that is right here and we have the entire table, maybe I can just minimize the code so you can take a look at the table right here. So if you take a look at the table, we have fiscal week, we have fiscal quarter, fiscal year, a lot of these columns that you can actually use to present your data in that particular fashion. All that we need as of now is to link the two tables that we have created. So date table and the calendar table as well as the sales table using the date column certainly. So maybe I'll just uh, use the date column and link it right here. And a one to many relationship has been formed between the two tables. All right, once the relationship is created, all that I need is to present the data, which is total sales by maybe fiscal year. And let's just see if we have a fiscal year column. We have a fiscal year column, which I'm going to drag it to the rows of my pivot table. Maybe just cancel this and expand the pivot table. And we have our data presented by fiscal year. So in India, the way that we write is 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13. Now let's just also drill down further into our fiscal year by the month. So if I just maybe click here and then pick up the calendar month and I'm just going to drag the calendar month to the rows once again and maybe just expand that once again. And you can see that as of now, this is sorted in the alphabetical order, but hey, maybe I'd like to sort it in the fiscal year order. So I'll just go back to the table of uh, the table that I've created and I'll pick up the calendar month and this month needs to be in the fiscal sorting order. That means April should come first and it should end until maybe March, right? So I'm just going to click here and go to the modeling tab. In the modeling tab, I'll say sort by and I'll sort it by the fiscal month index right here. And April actually becomes the first month, so on and so forth. So let's just take a look at the result. And we have the financial year starting with April ending up till March. We can also kind of present this by quarter. 
So let's just see that uh, we have fiscal quarter right here. So I'm just going to drag the fiscal quarter above the month and again expand it. So obviously Q4 is going to be the quarter number for Jan, Feb and March because those were the last three months in our fiscal year. And April, May, June is certainly quarter one, so on and so forth. So you can actually also improve the layout of this. So I'm just going to use the word step here and turn off the stepping. And this is now into three different columns. All right, so we have fiscal year, fiscal quarter, uh, you can obviously change the month from calendar month to just month and this is kind of good to go. All right, one very, very important thing about creating a calendar table using the code that I've given to you. Now you need to make sure that you need to have one existing table already loaded into your data model. And obviously one of the column of that particular uh, table needs to be in the date format. If that is not the case, you would not be able to get this calendar table because this actually searches for the existing tables that are there in the data and it searches for the date column and if you don't have this particular table with a date column this is not going to work so make sure you have a table with a date column and this is going to work absolutely fine all right here we are we have fiscal year quarter and the month representation of our total sales and you can just work around with this please let me know if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to help all right thanks so much for watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye